All right, so I'm here at uh, the maintenance area right next to the courthouse. And this guy wanted to come and bust my balls. So back to what I was doing. What's up, y'all? I went live real fast because you see that guy right there? That big dude walking away? He came out right now and asked me if I need any help. I explained to him I didn't. And then he proceeded to get real close to me as to, uh, I guess, attempt to put his hands on me. So I decided to go live just in case. Like I said, I usually don't jump on live real quick that fast, but if this guy wants to get crazy, we'll play. Let me see if I can read some of these. I gotta tilt my head. Tay, how you doing? I'm gonna try to go through. Rika, how you doing? Yeah, hands off. That's what I'm trying to tell him. Sideways, let me see what. Is that better? I'll try to do it so I don't cover the mic. But yeah, man, I was just standing here. I walked around the building. That bro boy came up real close to me, man. I didn't like that. Here it comes again. He asked me twice, do I need any help? I told him, nope. The second time I told him I already answered your question, I ain't answering it again. See, I just got out of court, man, on that arrest during a uh, during Fiesta for the uh, disorderly conduct, the uh, open container, and the failure to ID, and it got rescheduled. So it's all good. Look, here she comes again. We got a whole crew of them now. Don't put that shit in my face. Hey, watch how you handle me, bro. Don't put that in my face. I didn't put you walked up on me, fatty. So watch how you yeah, It's on camera, bro. Here. Can you call the cops? I got it on camera. Call them. You call him, bro. Call you're him. you're him. SAPD. Can okay. you can you handle this? Yeah. Of course not, right? Because you're just like him. No. Hey, can I get a name for that fat fuck? That job with a hood, hood looking motherfucker. Can I get in there? Yeah, yeah, bitch. Yeah, get off, get off the clock and come see me. I said I live on the south side, ho. On the south side, come see me. Okay. Morrison and Pleasanton, bro. Morrison and Pleasanton. That's where I'm at. When you when you ain't got your fucking bullies around you, I'd have knocked your bitch ass out if you wouldn't have had them around you, bro. You but would, you, all you these dudes with guns, though, right? If you're so bad, all these you dudes. Well, oh, you got you got dudes with guns. You got dudes with guns. Gun right they, there, they wouldn't have rushed me. You come at me by yourself like that, fatty. Come at me by yourself like that, bitch. Knock you the fuck out, ho. Bitch ass. So none of y'all are gonna handle it, man. That motherfucker just assaulted me, bro. Just assaulted the fuck out of me. I was standing right here and he walked by. I had my camera like this. He said, don't put my camera in your face. He said, you walked up on you walked up on me, fatty. And he knocked the camera and hit it out of my face. I got the screen protector right here. It's all on camera. That's hitting my hand and knocking my that's not personal fucking destruction of personal property, bro. Why were you recording? Because I can, dude. Is there a fucking problem with that? Exactly, that's what, you know, you're right, you're right, but you gotta see where I'm coming, I just got assaulted, bro. And by your fucking homeboy, and all y'all cops are doing nothing about it, bro. I see one, two, three cops standing here, bro. Standing here. I ain't gotta calm down, bro, I just got assaulted. I should've hit his fucking ass, I had every right, every legal right. No, it wouldn't, that'd be defense, bro. That boy hit me, that would be defending myself, bro. I know the law. Let's fucking do it then, bro. I'm gonna be right here. Yeah, your fucking fat fuck homeboy put his hands on me. Bitch ass motherfucker, man. I bet, like I said, if y'all weren't around with y'all's guns and y'all's badges, he wouldn't have touched me, bro. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. What's that? But I couldn't defend him because if I if I'd have defended myself, honestly, what happened? Y'all boys would have rushed on me like I'm the like I'm the fucking victim, like I'm the victimizer. That, that's 100 percent, bro. I know y'all. I know y'all. Y'all y'all's fucking gang mentality, bro. Uh, okay, you know, I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't know that, but from my experience. All y'all gang members act the same. I'd have been the one that got jumped on. Not him. Dude, he was right here. I know I know this man saw him hit my damn camera. It went flying across the street. But yet he's gonna say I he didn't see it. It don't matter. That's still my po well, personal you property, have, you bro. Have proof intent of to, okay, it's on here. He reaches out, hits it, and then stand he walks up to me. But I think he was trying to hit the phone. It don't matter though, that's still a soul, bro. He hit my right, hand. I'm holding prove, it. You prove intent. The intent was to harm me or my personal property, bro. That's it. Alright, we'll get an officer over here. Let's fucking do it, man.
Let's fucking do it, man. Can I get that guy's name? No, I don't got an ID. I don't need an ID. Can I get that guy's name? No, 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 no. You don't. I could, I could leave personal information. I don't need an ID. I, I know, I know the policy, bro. I don't need an ID. We can't help you unless you take a report. You can't take a report on an ID. No, you know, you can. I can give you a name and a number. Oh, so, so this guy gets to just put his hands on me and that's cool. I didn't say that. Because I'm not giving my fucking info to none of y'all criminals, bro. I'm not giving my info to none of y'all criminals, bro. Y'all sure the fuck can, bro? Because I can give y'all Good Samaritan and then I can give y'all contact info, you bro. Works, you do not need a legal ID. It's a legal fucking Texas ID to file a complaint, bro. I know that. Yes, guys. They're going to ask you for your information so you, because you're the complainant. Yeah. You need to sign a complaint, so we need to know who you're talking to. sign a complaint. Whatever, bro. I'll deal with them, bro. But then I'll do I'll do with them, but can I get that guy's name? Because I need to know yeah. who I'm pressing charges on the again. Way, he'll be here and he'll help you in a minute. All right, all right. right. I know he's y'all's co-worker, but whatever, bro. I don't know that guy. Well, you seem like y'all did the way y'all fucking rounding up to protect him. No, I don't. I don't know that. Well, then guy. why the fuck we y'all mobbing up in a big group behind him? Because I just got assaulted, bro. I got no need to calm down. Because I got, I got no need. I got no need. Y'all said y'all stood there and watched him assault me. I did not see him. Okay, these two. I know, I know the motherfucker in the blue right there. What y'all, y'all are watching, man. I know y'all are watching. It's cool. Y'all can see it live right now. The motherfucker in the blue right here with the tattoo, and the motherfucker in the red right here walked up and saw him hit the motherfucking camera. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly who you are, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. I see. You know what? Go watch your two, two, two videos. All the time, bro. I, I see your videos all, all the time, bro. But watch out. Watch out, bro. Watch out. Watch out. You're over here. You're over here. People are trying to work here. I feel that, bro. But okay? I'm gonna put. He asked me a question. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna come down. He asked me a question. He goes, bro, what are you doing here? I said, I don't answer questions. He goes, why are you filming? I said, I don't answer questions, bro. That's when he walked off. Cause I don't need to. Big okay, area. Bro. I was minding no, no, my own no. business, bro. No, no, no. That one, bro. That one. That one. But understand something, homie. We're trying to work here. People are trying to work here. I feel that, okay? bro. I've seen your videos, man. I've seen your videos, okay? And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Your First Amendment, tan bueno, tan bueno. I respect all that, okay? But you, but there is a line and there is a limit what, as to what you could do, okay? There is a line yeah, I feel that it. you cannot cross. But I didn't cross that line though, bro. Okay? I'm standing in a public area. I never crossed y'all secure areas, bro. I never did none of that. I stayed, made sure I was in a public area away from all the secure stuff. Okay. And then when people were walking through, because there was a guy on the other side that was walking, I pointed my camera away from him. You know what I'm saying? I was just getting the vehicles and stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cool, man. Cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, the dude walked up. Like, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah. There's a limit, man. Trust me. Yeah, I try not to cross it, but like right now, I make sure I was within within my, my rights, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just mad because, like I said, multiple people were walking up, and I, I don't want to point names. You're right. It may not have been you, boss. It may not have been you or him. I saw multiple people walking up when he knocked the camera out of my hand, and nobody did nothing to him. But if I'd have hit him, I'd have got rushed, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just facts, bro, that's facts. If I'd have hit him, I'd have had multiple individuals from this facility coming at me like I'm the asshole, when all I was doing would have been defending myself because legally, legally, bro, he doesn't even have to touch me. If he walks up to me in a threatening manner and gets close enough, I can defend myself. I don't need him to right, touch me, like bro. I, said, I think his intent was to knock the phone But still, that, that's an assaultive, that, that's still a, a, a battery intent, bro, no, you know? That's hey, all I'm saying, man. One thing, one thing, one thing hey, I'm going to tell here. you about. Oh, 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 oh you're going to keep grabbing me now? What the fuck? What the fuck? So a cop just, I'm getting arrested and they got me in handcuffs and they say that I'm the one who assaulted somebody. So I'm going to jump off real fast and then I'm going to show this officer the video of that man assaulting me and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump back on. So everybody, this officer right here is being real polite and real uh, uh, respectful, Officer Ortiz being a real stand-up officer. But the other officer, his partner, rolled up, grabbed me, threw my phone on the ground and put me in handcuffs and said I was the one who assaulted somebody. So we're just letting y'all know. I'm probably going to get arrested right now because uh, one officer doesn't have his information straight. So that's what it is. You know, I'm just going to keep rolling. I'm, I'm not even going to stop it. I'll show you whenever whenever it comes down. So I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going to just keep rolling. And these guys are right here, man. As fucked up as y'all stand here and let them handcuff me and call me the, the criminal when y'all know, bro, that I got assaulted. Okay. That's all I'm asking, bro. He, he, said, he said that I assaulted, that man assaulted somebody. And I'm just asking for clarification so I can get out of handcuffs. Okay, but this man saw him hit me. I never touched nobody, bro. Never touched nobody. Whatever, man. See, this is what I talk about, the blue line gang, man. This is what I talk about, man. I try to be fucked. I calm down. I was talking to you right now. I'm still going to treat me like I'm the bad guy. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Fucking work it for all of y'all. Fucking clowns is what y'all are. Not you, officer, because like I said, you've come up and you've been polite. Officer, what these, none of that is being directed towards you. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like I said, they're, they're being dicks, man. They know what happened. They're refusing to, to, to speak up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm upset with them right now. They saw the man. I was standing, I'll tell you the whole scenario, boss. I was standing right there in that shadowed area. I had my camera up like this. The dude 
I'm not trying to, the dude walked up on me like this and kind of walked around me and I had my camera, never moved my camera, I had my camera, he said, don't put your camera in my face. I said, dude, you walked up on me, fat ass. And then he hit my camera out of the fucking, out of my hand. I said, all right, bet that. And then I was like, don't put your hands on me again. And he stood there and went to approach me again when his buddy stopped him from approaching me again. You know what I'm saying? So he was coming at me with that intent. I never walked towards him. I never moved a muscle. I stayed in one spot Well, he walked from the back. He stood, he was where that guy was standing, walked in that area, walked right by me, less than two, three feet, real close, intimidation move kind of thing, and I just stood there. And that's when, you know what I'm saying? He's like, don't put the camera in my face. I didn't put the camera in your face. I ain't even moved yet, bro, you know what I'm saying? And he's gonna knock the camera out of my fucking hand like that. And then y'all roll up and grab me like I'm the bad guy. If I was a criminal, you think I'd still be standing there? If I was one who assaulted somebody, I'd have left, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not dumb. If I know the cops are coming because I assaulted someone, I'm trying to vacate the area. I just know that you were talking with two police officers when we came. So okay, yeah, I feel you, yeah. Why? Look, because I was trying to- prior to that? Well, that's what happened prior to that. They were standing there and I was explaining to them, hey, what's going on? Trying to get them to admit what happened. They're like, dude, I didn't see it, I didn't see it. I'm like, and they were trying to calm me down too. They're like, bro, calm down, calm down. I'm like, bro, Good. calm down for what, man? I just got assaulted. And in time, they did. The gentleman that was standing right here with the, that said uh, a minute ago, I wasn't over here, him, and then there was another gentleman in the green shirt. They came up and called me down, bro. Right when y'all pulled up, I was calm until this officer grabbed me like I'm the criminal. And then, of course, my blood pressure gets irate again. You know what I'm saying? My blood pressure starts going up. Did you notice? I'm calming down again little by little, you know? Because no, I'm, I'm the victim here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, that's sir. all. Because they were asking me, they were here like, well, we need to name an ID. So I'm not going to name an ID to y'all. He goes, well, we need one for the complaint. I go, well, I'll deal with that when the officers get here. I said, I'm not giving nothing to y'all. I'll do I'll deal with that when the officers get here. You know what I'm saying? That, that's all on video, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, right now, if you look, I've got, I got 143 people watching right now. You know what I'm saying? Watch what happens. So, I mean, there's witnesses to the, to what happened. You know what I'm saying? Dude, it's not like I was just standing there. I had I had almost 200 people watching live when that guy hit me and knocked his hand. Like, like I said, I'm going to reach my, if you reach my back pocket, there's a broken screen protector that'll show you that that shit went flying. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I don't want to reach it because I don't want to. No, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know, I had a screen yeah, protector been, on there, but it's broke. You. I don't know what you have on it. No, I got nothing. You can search me, bro. I, I got sure. fucking paper. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's cool, man. I ain't sure. You can go in your the subpoena? Yeah, uh, no, uh, reschedule. Oh, okay, good. I, I just got out of court and walked over here, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll make sure that doesn't fly away. Appreciate it. I was just, I got no problem with you doing what you do, you know what I'm saying? Like... Now that I've come down, you have, do I got the story straight now, sir? Probably not. Oh, they're still saying I'm the... What are you doing here to begin with? Well, I have every right to be here, sir. That's why I'm here. I have a right to stand on a public sidewalk and report public facility. So that's all I was doing. All right. You got on somebody's face and you thought no, no, no. you were going to hit him? I, I was standing you there. He walked in my face. You were cursing at him? I did. I did. No, I called him a, I called him a fat ass, yes. But okay. he, but I was, I'm going to show you where I was standing. I never moved. Can I show you where I was standing? No. Okay, well, I was standing and he walked up on me. I never walked up to him. He walked up on me. And I got it all on video. All of it's on video live. 200 people saw him walk up on me and hit my camera out of my hand. Well, when they see strangers, look, look what that sign says. Authorized personnel Beyond moment. that, beyond there. I never crossed that. I stayed on this side of the wall the whole time. Close enough. No, it's not. You got to see what the, what the hell you're doing out here. And I don't have to answer. That's the point, officer. I, I know my First Amendment right. My First Amendment right is to be able to film anything I could see from a and public venue. And cause problems, no, obviously. No, I wasn't saying nothing. He approached me. I was, I knew, you, you said you put the phone to his face. No, no, thought, no, no, no. You, you no. thought he you were going to hit me. him. He walked up to me, and then he, he hit me. Because he saw an unauthorized person out here. Trying to stop him before you go in. Uh, and I thought, no, no, no. I, I walked from the other side. I don't know why you're yelling at me like I'm the bad guy. I've been walking around this whole building. He didn't come right, out, so I got right here. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy. Man, you see what I'm talking about? I was, I was talking to you politely, and he ain't even trying to hear Did my Did he give his name yet? No, sir. He ain't even trying to hear my side of the story, bro. And I'm not going to give it, man. That's fine. He ain't even trying to hear my side of the story. You wonder why I'm so upset right now. Me and you were talking perfectly fine, bro. Perfectly fine. Can I get, are you the supervisor? Can I get a supervisor out here? What do you need a supervisor for? Because, because of you. May I have a supervisor? I mean, Officer Ortiz, may I have a supervisor? Thank you. I've asked for a supervisor and Officer Ortiz said he would comply. That's if he wants to make it. What's your last No, I'm not going to give that to the supervisor. Supervisor? Yeah, I need a supervisor. Yeah, well, you, comes, yeah, like you said, it, I can try if they're tied up and... Yeah, I understand, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, I did nothing wrong, so I, have, I feel I have no reason to identify. I'm the victim here, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, if, if you were taking my, my report for assault, I would give you my info, bro. But now you're treating, you're taking my info as a criminal, and I'm not going to give that. I'm taking it for somebody contacts. Okay.
So I'm standing outside the magistrate and outside the, what is this, the public safety maintenance building? All right, right behind the bell bondsman next to the magistrate. And like I said, there's even guys in there that have seen my videos, bro. You know what I'm saying? That they know I know what I'm doing. That I don't. That I, I may I may get vulgar and I may get irate, but I never I never go anywhere I'm not allowed. I seen those signs, bro. I, w I wouldn't even go in that area. And I could have been a dick and recorded all these people's license plates, but I didn't. I'm here just to see the public facility, man. Just to see see how things are maintained. You know, that's all. Like a Wayne Thompson. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. You got me. <laughs> you got me. My, my name was on my damn court paperwork. Shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, you got me. I'll yeah, but it's Michael. Since you already know it's Michael Thompson. Yeah, fuck you. How do you figure it out? A little sleuth and did the job. Yeah, hey, you can run me. It's good. I ain't got no nothing. 11 1981. They said, you already got it. I might as well just give it to you. Make your job easier. Fuck it. You've been a polite officer. Corpus, man, though, has been a clown. I'm not the one showing up. You in are, public, dude. Public places trying to create a scene. I'm not, dude. You made the scene by grabbing me and thinking I'm. A I criminal, made the scene because I was dispatched here because they but said there was an assault. Like and I, but I'm the victim, bro. That's what I'm saying. How do I know that? But you could have asked any of the guys that were standing around me. That's what I'm saying, man. Can we both come down? Because hey, you're a little irate. According too. to what they Can told me, the victim's down? inside. That's what they told you. That's what these guys out here that were standing with me told. Yes. Me. Oh, that's bullshit. Because you never talked to these guys, dude. I was standing out here the whole time. You've been inside, bro. You never talked to the guys that were around me. The guy that's inside is the guy who assaulted me, the big fat dude. That's the guy who assaulted me. Like I said, I got it on camera, man. You can arrest me right now if you want, but when we go to court, you'll be there, bro. You'll be there. Because I'm, I'm, I'm filing a complaint on you for the way you've handled a victim. Bet that. The way you've handled a victim, dude, you've treated me like a criminal. You rolled up on me, you threw my phone. You threw my phone, a thousand dollar phone. I didn't grab your phone. You should, it's on video, bro. It was live on video. It was live on YouTube when you did it. It has you reaching, grabbing, and throwing it live on video. So you can say what you want. See, now you're seeing things. I'm not seeing things, dude. 200 people it, live it on YouTube. Him, so it was him that grabbed it. It wasn't me. I no, he didn't it. grab it, throw my phone. You, you were the even, first you one. You don't even know what you're talking about. Whatever, bro. It's on video. It's cool. You're seeing now already. That's what it is. That old age is already kicking in, bro. That Alzheimer's. That senile. I'm clean, man. I'm telling you. Ain't no warrants, no nothing. Because no I warrants. Several times. As I'm saying, everything I do, man, I wouldn't do this if I had a warrant. Everything I do, I know is within the law, officer or thieves, everything. I'm, I'm a First Amendment and Second Amendment civil rights activist. This is what I do for a living. I test, test the limits of legal activity amongst police officers and city workers. And that's what that's what y'all just did. You've been 100% positive, you know, great dude. You, you are the prime example of how an officer should, should be, except that I'm in cuffs. You know what I'm saying? You've been polite, you've been courteous, you've, you've, you've let me rant whether you've been paying attention and caring what I had to say or not. You've been, you've been listening, you know what I'm saying? You, you've given me that opportunity. This guy on the other hand walked up, grabbed me. He's everything you shouldn't do as an officer. That's what that is. He's, he's old, he's old, he's old police. He's from the old school where you can come up and bully. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like he's, in my opinion, he's old police. He has, he's that mentality where I can bully my way because I'm the law. You're new police where it's like, you know what, let's figure out what's going on and let's fucking come to a, you know, a solution to this. That's the difference right here, bro. That's, the, that's why with you I've been, except at first when I was irate, been nothing but courteous and polite with you and have been nothing but, but rude to this guy right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I know what I'm doing. I do this, man. I said, I got the proof that, that he, 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 I'm lucky I had a screen protector. Had he broke my case, man, he'd be out. 1200 bucks, man, that's not a cheap phone. Yeah. So, man, can y'all either arrest me or get a supervisor out here and let me be free to go? Because this is it's hot as hell. I know y'all are trying to get an AC. I'm trying to get away from here, you know what I'm saying? Like, so y'all can either arrest me and book me and get me in that cold AC magistrate, or y'all can let me go, man, let me go on about my business. Or y'all can get a supervisor out here and let me explain to him what's going on, how this guy's been